Hi everyone, you are watching Wisdom Shots. The fear we had when our country's COVID-19 count was 100 is not there when it's over 2 lakh cases right now. Why? You know, most people are getting back to normal. The fear has come down. How come? You know, the answer lies in a psychological concept. It's called the Kubler-Rose model. Whenever there is a tragedy, disaster, accident, death, divorce or any negative significant event in our life, we all go through five stages. Number one, denial, anger, bargain, depression and acceptance. Let me explain. The first stage is denial, no refusal to believe such a thing ever happened. Now, for example, we all denied in the beginning, you know, Corona will never come to us. Even if it comes, it will not spread up to our place due to hot weather and all kind of justifications. The second stage is anger. You know, when you feel like all control has been taken away and life has drastically changed you know, in a very short space of time, it's completely natural to feel angry. You know, for some people, anger over the loss of income and the loss of normal life due to lockdown, etc. The third stage is bargain. You know, why did this come? You know, why is it happening? Why me? Why so much mystery around? You know, please reduce this pain. You know, please relax lockdown. You know, we will maintain social distance. We'll take precautions. You know, save me. You start bargaining. The fourth stage is depression. If the pain continues, if you continue to be in a miserable state, the next stage is depression. From mild depression to clinical depression. You know, depends on your mental fitness. Now the fifth and the last stage is acceptance and integration. You accept the fact and then you move on. Okay, now the most important thing of this model is even though we all go through you know these five stages, the degree and the you know the intensity varies from person to person. And some people they get stuck in one stage. You know, like the US President Donald Trump. If now he has not accepted the fact, he believes things will be back to normal in a few days. Is still in the first stage, denial. You know, some people are still in the second stage, anger. You know, it, it takes a lot of time for some people to move from one stage to the other. So these five levels are not limited to COVID-19 situation. This applies to all the problems, negative events in human life. I'll give you one more simple example which demon demonstrates the transition uh, process from one stage to, you know, to the other. So imagine you drive to work every day. One day morning you need to go to work for an important meeting. As you place the key in the ignition and you try to turn the car on, you realize that the battery is dead. So stage one, denial. Your first reaction will be shock and denial. You cannot believe this is happening to you when you are already running late. You'll try to start the car again and again. Stage two is anger. And now that you realize that car cannot be started, you begin to feel angry and, and become very mad at the situation. Stage three, bargain. You know, even on knowing it, it won't help. You start asking the car to start and just for once. And you promise it in your mind that you will keep it maintained and get the battery charged as soon as possible. Stage four is depression. All the negative thoughts start rushing to your mind. You begin to feel depressed, sad, hopeless and helpless. And stage five is acceptance. Okay, now you figure out what you should do next. You book the cab and decide to deal with the situation. Later on, you called your office and you know informed everybody that you will be late for the meeting. See, we all experience you know this kind of uh, events and we go through these five stages in our lives. So what's the best thing to do in a situation like this? The best thing is to move from first stage, stage one to the last stage as fast as possible. Don't get stuck in one stage. If you're stuck, it'll affect your mental health. Move to the last stage as fast as possible. The last stage is acceptance. It doesn't mean that you, know, you have to be okay with whatever is happening and be happy with the situation. No, nothing like that. So you know, get to the point where you understand what's going on and take positive actions. Accept the fact, know what can be changed and what cannot be changed and take positive actions based on that. In psychology, there's a widely used word called resilience. You know, resilience is your ability to bounce back. It's about how fast you can bounce back from stage one to stage five. In our current COVID-19 situations, we have to accept the new normal. 
make peace with it to take positive actions to get into stage 5 change is an inevitable part and in truth of life and there is no running away from it accept what happened and continue living move on so don't close the book just turn the page i repeat don't close the book just turn the page thank you so much for watching stay strong stay safe